the devil is in the detail, both with the training of racehorses and the assemblage of an outfit. Let's get some fashion. Well, of course, there have been nearly 300 years of superb racing here at Royal Ascot, but there have also been nearly 300 years of superb fashion stakes, that is, washing the wa watching the fashion stakes. And something new this year to Royal Ascot is our very own catwalk. And for the first time, we're going to premiere with a, a marvellous fashion show. Philip Tracy, the world-renowned designer, uh, milliner, is with us. And uh, James Sherwood, you're going to lead us through our very first Royal Ascot fashion show. Well, I can tell you now, I've practically died and gone to heaven. This is exactly as I'd wish to see every woman at Royal Ascot dressed. Very reminiscent of the Cecil Beaton black and white Ascot scene, My Fair Lady. It's the 50th anniversary of the London stage production of My Fair Lady this year. There's the Edwardian bustle back. It's an Alexander McQueen suit. Um, utterly elegant, utterly chic. I've run out of superlatives, to be perfectly Beautiful. honest. I wish I'd worn something like that. It's absolutely stunning. Now, this is the hat that was crowned the face of Royal Ascot, Philip. Yes. It was exciting to make a hat for Royal Ascot. And you photographed it? Yes. And then uh, Raquel is from Brazil, so Brazil is at Ascot as well. Mm. It's rather Liza Minnelli in Cabaret, I think, this one. It's, uh, yes, quite a... Quite a sexy number. Um, trouser suits, totally appropriate at Royal Ascot if we're in the same colour. Jet is a little bit evening for the Royal Enclosure, but um, a great fashion statement, I think. And Philip, your models, as you say, are from all over the world today. Yes, it's a bit like the United Nations. It's sort of, you know, Sweden, <laughs> Holland, uh, Denmark and uh, Brazil. Now, this is just the most extraordinary creation. You know, I think you need a terribly pretty face mm. to carry this hat off. Fortunately, this, this young lady has it. Absolutely uh, stunning. Philip, we have to ask about the architecture of a hat like this because it looks almost impossible. Well, you know, hats are supposed to look effortless and easy and if they look uh, laboured, then they don't really work. But Ascot is um, a celebration of hat wearing and uh, it's my greatest pleasure to make hats for the greatest race meeting in the world. It's like your AGM, isn't it, Royal yes, Ascot? absolutely. Stunning the way it's framed in the face, absolutely beautiful. And that McQueen suit, gorgeous. This no, I, I recognise this dress. It's a, it's a vintage Anthony Price lace. I actually saw it first in Vogue for the 90th anniversary of Vogue. And it was probably the best damn thing in it. Um, I'm a great, great fan of Anthony Price. I think he's one of the best of British designers. Um, I ought to mention the hat. It's really rather marvellous, too. <laughs> <laughs> very special. But it's a, certainly a love letter to Anthony Price. Lisa, you're getting sport at your very first Ascot, oh, really, aren't you? Because it's this, is it. this is the A to Z of what to wear. It's beautiful. I'm absolutely blown away. Stunning, stunning. I mean, the hats are just fantastic, Philip. Beautiful. This is like... quite challenging on the chin. Um, does it just keep your chin up, a hat like this? Well, it's, uh, it's, um, it's helping you kind of keep it all in place, that's what. You need to have that kind of posture. Yes, <laughs> but uh, this girl does. See, being, being at Ascot, one couldn't help thinking about the drinking problem with that. <laughs> How does I, it work? You don't really have a drinking problem with that. You Is just right use a straw. Flutes? Yes, no problem. <laughs> all the girls have been absolutely fine. They've been... Uh, Having a lot of champagne. There's ways around it, isn't there, yeah. always? Straws. <laughs> Straws are always good. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. 